Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker is now just 43 days away from its official release by Disney and Lucasfilm, as well as creator George Lucas and director J.J. Abrams that is all set and ready to end the Skywalker saga and the sequel trilogy itself. This is Mike Zero, make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel for future Star Wars content. Now what's really exciting about episode 9 is that we do know that this film at the end of the day is going to be a revelation film answering many of the burning questions of The Force Awakens that were not answered in The Last Jedi while also using this movie as a foundation to create new Star Wars lore by J.J., and that's exactly what he wants to do with Episode Nine. He really wants to utilize both characters of Rey and Kylo Ren in a different sense than we have ever seen them before in the past two Star Wars films by Disney and Lucasfilm. And that's the big deal about J.J. Abrams, is that he really wants to create new Star Wars lore surrounding the Jedi, the Sith, and the Force in general. Now, these past couple of weeks or so, we've been learning a whole lot more about this film, and when it all comes down to one of the concept art descriptions, this is where things begin to get very exciting for Episode 9, as well as one of the set leaks. Now, specifically, what's really intriguing about all of this is that it's described that one of the scenes that were filmed during the month of December of 2018 over in Cardington for the second act of the film was said to be in the form of a flashback that would tell a tale of Ray's past and her family. It's explained that the scenes took place on the world of Jack Q at nighttime in the form of a flashback that is said to include a big revelation related to Ray's family. It's described that the scene that was filmed involved Daisy Ridley witnessing a younger version of herself, portrayed by the same actress who played Kid Ray back in 2015. The sequence is said to involve a young boy around the age of 12 or so that is described to be captured by the First Order, where it's explained that the costume design of that character was dubbed as Ray's sibling underscore 707 dash trim 9. The costume design is explained to be a dark robe with red trims on the back of the costume, and that Ray's brother is described to be a mysterious story in the film that will be explored in the new expanded universe by Disney beginning in 2020. It's described that Ray's brother was also very powerful through the ways of the Force, however was taken away by the First Order and was never to be found again. So let's go over a couple of parts about this and as to why this is a very interesting side of the story of Ray's character in Episode 9, and specifically Ray's family, right? The fact that there's going to be a story to tell more than just Ray's parents in Episode 9 really does open up one's mind as to exactly what J.J. is willing to explore when it comes to Ray's origins. Now... As Rey states in The Force Awakens that she's waiting for her family, be basically meaning that it could very well be more than her parents, and now we can see that it indeed is. So, Rey's sibling, the costume design of this mysterious character that was actually used on set by one of the young actors around the age of 13 to 14 years old, the actual costume design of this specific character was dubbed as Ray's sibling underscore 707 dash trim 9. Now we heard about this character a couple of times, I would say about six months ago, give or take, about Ray's sibling slash Ray's brother being a thing in the Rise of Skywalker. Essentially a little piece of Ray's backstory that will be dropped in episode 9. That's also going to be used in the new expanded universe that's all going to begin in 2020. And that's another thing here is that Disney and Lucasfilm really want to explore the new EU very similar in a sense to what Lucasfilm did after Return of the Jedi with tons of books, novels, comics, video games, you name it. That's really going to define the future of the Star Wars franchise. And that's the thing about this movie is that they really are trying to use this movie as a foundation to create something new. To create new Force lore surrounding the Jedi, the Sith, and the Force in general, as well as new details about the character of Rey. Now this particular scene is said to be based on the world of Jakku in the form of a flashback, which would explain as to why they actually shot a lot of scenes over at Pinewood and Cardington in late 2018 for a set that emulated the world of Jakku. You can see how this really does tie directly in with that with what we talked about a couple of months ago. Now, the character of Rey, we do know that they are going to explore her lineage in greater depth in this movie to the point where it's going to change how we view the past eight Star Wars films. In fact, Rey's identity her itself is going to be a Saga 1 implication, and it also falls directly in line with how Rey is actually said to be the granddaughter of Emperor Palpatine 
and Rey's sibling would then hence also be yet another extension of Palpatine's bloodline, and that could very well fall directly in line with exactly how the new expanded universe is going to have a lot of new stories, a lot of new tales to tell, that's going to really kind of just expand things, right? Very similar to how the original trilogy was treated, where in the EU it explored Luke Skywalker's wife and Luke Skywalker's children and everything around those lines. So, seems like that they are moving in that direction for the character of Rey and others as well that are affiliated with the sequel trilogy. Whether or not a lot of fans will be invested in that after 2019 is a big mystery and a big question open on the table for discussion. Anyways guys, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about all this in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support and I'll catch you guys next time.